Okay, it's going to be a video on the Bursa Thunder 380. I've had a few of these over the years. I really like them a lot. Um, I bought this about a week ago, used. So I'm just going to take it down, make sure everything's okay with it. Because I bought used guns with broken firing pins, missing extractors, injectors. So I've not taken this one down yet. So this video will be the first time I take it down. Looks like it's been lubed plenty. But not cleaned real well. And that's already after I wiped some of it off. So it has been safety checked, no magazine, nothing in the chamber. So to take it down, you can go ahead and lock the slide back if you want, or you can do it from the forward position. It's up to you. But anyway, take that lever right here and push it forward. And you're going to pull back on your slide and up and then forward. And it should come off. Uh, just take your recoil spring off now. Uh, turn the spring the right way. There you go. Just makes it a little bit easier to get off. Kind of expands it. Little caddy wampus, but no big deal. Anyway, there's our frame. I might do a frame disassembly if it's real, real bad, depending on how it looks. But for this video, we're just going to do the slide. So the first thing we'll do is take out the extractor. It's got a spring back here and ground that pin and the extractor, so it's only going to be three parts. So we'll take the extractor from the bottom through the top because it's a little tapered or a ledge on it or something. So that's why we do it that way. I've not taken this one apart, but I've had a few over the years that I have, so I might be a little bit rusty, but we'll figure it out. So let's go ahead and get that punched out. Let's get a punch. Your extraction is going to be spring loaded, but it shouldn't be enough to shoot it across the room. Just keep an eye on it. Sorry about the camera shaking. It's on that bench, so it's going to shake every time. So you can see it's coming out here. There it goes. Get the punch out of here. Man, you can hear it pop out. There's your extractor. There's the spring. Also, you can see the, the punch still in the frame. I'm going to lose it here in a minute. I'm looking for the uh, pin right now, which is sticking out of the short slide. Oh, there we go. Serenity now. Let's go ahead and get that out. There it goes. So that's only three parts you have. The extractor, the pin, and the spring. That's it. Don't worry about it, put it in there. We'll do that when we reassemble it. Okay, we'll go ahead and zoom in. Next, we'll take this uh, safety selector off. Safety selector decocker. So it's on a safe right now. You're just going to pull out and turn it at the same time. So lift and turn at the same time. You see it's coming out here. And you'll hear the detent. It's a captured detent. It won't pop out. I'll see if I can show that. There's our safety selector. Yeah, just pull it out as you turn it. Here's the captured detent. And it's access to the top of the slide underneath the sight. So you don't have to worry about that popping out. Right there it is. Just take the rear side off and you'll have access to it. Next we'll take our firing pin safety stop. You're just going to push that in. I don't think I did it on camera. Just push it in and your firing pin should come out along with your firing pin safety stop and spring. And 
And that's a complete field strip with the exception of the sights. But I'm going to get that uh, firing pin channel cleaned out real good. You can see how dirty everything is just from that little bit. And then we'll go ahead and do a reassembly of it. You can see how dirty the frame is. It actually looks better under light. <laughs> but yeah, it's really dirty. So I may take apart the, uh, the frame. If I do, I'll leave a link down below. All right, it's all cleaned up. I wish it went that real fast in real life. That'd be a lot better. I took the grips off and cleaned everything real well. So I don't think I'm going to do a disassembly of the frame. If there's enough interest in it, I will. Just leave comments down below if you want to see a disassembly of the frame. So we'll go ahead and get started reassembling the slide. A lot of people find this tricky. Um, I guess it is a little bit, but it, it shouldn't be too bad. I'll see if I can't stay on camera this time. So our fairing pin safety stop, the notched out part will, will face the, in, the inside of the slide. And then the firing pin, the flat part in the rear, that's going to be facing actually down but the way we have our slide oriented it's going to be up it's going to go just like this as everything's set so the easiest way that i found is i'm just going to we'll go ahead and get the safety lever in first we'll get it started to get it past that detent so the same thing we're just going to turn it and push it in at the same time and we're just going to get it past the detent for now. And there it is. You can see it's past it. Just so it's in there and ready to go. So just lay the firing pin in there. Don't put it in. Just kind of lay it there to line it up. We'll put the firing pin stop in. Flat side facing inside of the slide. And then we're going to push that all the way down. And then slide our firing pin in all the way. And once that's in all the way, we're going to let off on both of them at the same time. Hopefully they catch each other. So, there we got it there. You're just going to let off pressure on both of them at the same time, and they should kind of connect with each other. Let me do a zoom in here and see what that looks like. Now we'll go ahead and finish putting our safety selector on. I just kind of cover up the firing pin um, safety stop and the back where our firing pin is just in case it does pop out. We're just going to turn it and push it at the same time again. There it goes. Now out the other end or any other end. There it just snapped in. That's it. There you can see the firing pin in. So everything should function right on that, but we'll test everything out when we get it assembled. Now we'll do our extractor. Gotta get the camera here. All right, the spring is tapered. The larger end right here is gonna go down into the slide. There'll be a little recessed hole in there you'll be able to see. And then the skinnier end will be sticking up out of the slide. You can see it right in the very back there. Just make sure you get it in that recessed hole in there. I think that's got it. And then take the extractor, take the hook in for it, obviously. It'll should grab on your shell casing. You just put that over the spring. Now you have to move it back and forth a little bit when you start putting that pin in to, to get the hole lined up. Oh, my spring's trying to come out here. Let me get that on there right. I 
Okay, remember the Tim is, a, or the pin, Tim, the pin is tapered a little bit or a shelf on one side. So you can try it both ways and you'll see which way it'll go in easier. That goes in pretty easy that way. This side, not so much. Really tight that way. So I'll flip it back around the other way. So you can see it goes in and it snapped right down. So it's sitting on top. That's rested up against the top of the ejector. So just keep it compressed and move our extractor kind of back and forth line up. Did I call it an ejector before? Oh boy, somebody's going to catch that. So you shouldn't be doing videos. You don't know what you're talking about. Extractor, not ejector. So just kind of move it back and forth and that pin should slide down in there. And that got it right there. So we'll go ahead and push the thrust away with a punch. I guess I could skip this part so you don't have to see this whole screen shaking. That's going down now. You're just gonna you're gonna punch this in just far enough. It's gonna barely recess on the slide, just a little bit. I got a smaller punch here. Just about got it here. And that should get it right here. You see it's recessed in just a little bit right there. And you can feel the spring tension on it also. So we're good to go there. All right, we're just gonna reassemble it now. Take your recoil spring. It's also tapered. See how easy it goes in that way? You want it, you want it on a tight end, this end. You can see how it's kind of captured on there. That's the way you want it, not the loose end. You're just going to put this, line up the spring in the bottom of the slide there. Now you're going to take your lever, put it forward again, and we're going to take the slide and push it back and down at the same time. You're going to be kind of pushing down on it at the same time you're pushing it back. And make sure you go all the way back. And then forward, release your latch, and we'll go ahead and make sure everything functions. Oh, got to have a magazine in there. Magazine disconnect. Pain. Decox doesn't fire on safe. On fire, it fires. Try single action. Functions fine. That's the reset. Good to go. Everything works good. Like I said, if there's enough interest on the um, on the uh, frame disassembly, just leave some comments below. Thanks for watching. Leave any comments below. I'll leave a link down at the bottom here. Uh, for like an overview video or anything you want to purchase that I'm using. Thanks for watching.